All right, boys and girls, we've got a new ROM to flash for today. Uh, this video actually is going to take you from gingerbread ROM uh, to upgrading to ice cream sandwich. Uh, remember, any ROM that you flash, you must follow the ops steps. That's very important. Every single creator of a, of a custom ROM will have different steps. Uh, so. Uh, this flash here is going to retain, uh, be pertaining to uh, Darkseid's uh, latest beta, which is a 7.01, I think it is. Uh, steps for it: download the ROM. Uh, obviously, we already did that. Back up all your apps. Now, here's the problem with that: it's suggested to not restore your apps that are backed up in Gingerbread going to Ice Cream Sandwich. So. Uh, my suggestion is don't back up your apps. Basically, uh, when you get done flashing your ROM, uh, just go into the Google Play Store and just install them from there and it'll be a fresh install right on your phone. So, that would be number two. Number three, place the ROM on the root of your SD card before slash SD card. Uh, we've already done that. Boot into recovery mode. Now, uh, TDG requires or suggests that you only flash using Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.27, non-touch. That's what we're using right here. Uh, so you'd boot into this recovery here. Uh, number five would be doing an Android backup. Basically, you're doing a full backup of your system in case something screws up while you're flashing. Uh, remember. Uh, make sure you check the MD5 uh, code on your ROM that you download. If you don't know how to do that, click that link right there. It's right up there. Click that right there and that video will show you how to do that. Alrighty, so moving on. Now we're going to flash the dark side super wipe. Everyone complains about, I don't want to flash the super wipe. Well, guess what? It's suggested and that's what we're going to do here. So. Basically, we're going to scroll down, install zip from SD card. Uh, if you make sure I stay in focus here, uh, we're going to apply, I'm sorry, choose zip from SD card. Then we're going to scroll down. And we're going to choose super wipe. And we're going to run that. As soon as that gets done, We'll have a new system ready to go for the, for the ROM flash. So we'll be right back. Alright, so the next step after we just uh, ran the dark side super wipe, we're going to flash an ice cream sand sandwich ready radio. The links are in the op. Make sure you flash one. If you're coming from gingerbread, you must flash a radio that's ready for ice cream sandwich. Uh, so we're going to choose zip. We're going to scroll down, and what works best for me is the Blaze 4G LB7 Ice Cream Sandwich Radio that is modified. So, if you don't know how to flash radios, click that link right there. You can test different radios uh, and find out which one works best for you in your area. Uh, so, you know, have at it. You can flash radios all day long, it won't mess anything up. Alright, so we're going to select that. So I'll run through the flash. After that gets done, we are going to flash the ROM. Uh, I did a long video before. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. Basically, choose zip from SD card. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the UCLE2 beta 07.1 and we're going to select that scroll down the install and start letting it run and we'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright ladies and gentlemen flash the ROM it went through smooth everything's fine uh, once you get done flashing the ROM you get a little message up there that says first boot up will take a little bit You'll see the dark side logo, uh, and then after that the Samsung. And it'll take a few minutes, and then you'll be presented with this screen right here. 
Now, this is the screen. From this point on is when you wait your 10 minutes. Let it sit. Let the kernel figure out the things that your phone needs to do. Make it optimized. Some people say, I don't let my phone sit for 10 minutes. Well, guess what? I've always let my phone sit for at least 10 minutes and I've never had a problem, unlike the thousands of other people who have constantly posted, oh, this, that, this, and that, this, that. Anyways, 10 minutes from this point, uh, set your phone down, go take a shower, take a shit, uh, grab a new drink called Venom. Uh, I believe it's called Dark Mambo. Uh, fucking TDG, TDG got me hooked on that shit. Thank you. You got my tweaked up with that shit. Anyways, uh, so let it sit here for 10 minutes. After it sat for at least 10 minutes, if you know it's time, uh, it's 1.57 right now, 1.57 p.m. Uh, we'll come back once it's done and uh, we'll reboot. You won't set anything up. You'll just let the phone sit for 10 minutes. I know I sound like a retard. I keep saying this over and over again, but there's some people that just don't get it. So let the phone sit for 10 minutes from this time that you get this screen here. After it's sat, reboot. Don't set anything up. Just reboot. Once it's rebooted comes up, then you're all set to set your phone up. Uh, have any questions, feel free to post in the forums. And uh, XDA, why don't you start, uh, start protecting those uh, developers who've been doing you know, a good job and, and developing stuff on their free time and stop letting little punk kids come out and ripping their shit off. Yeah, I can say that because this is my YouTube channel. And to all you punk bitches who keep taking somebody else's ROM, fuck you. Learn how to code on your own. I don't know how to code, but I know how to make videos and help other people out. Anyways, 10 minutes, reboot, set your phone up. Have any other questions? Again, post on the forums or watch some of my other videos. Later.